Hi, this is Srinivas. Today we will discuss some external commands. What are the external commands? See, external commands are those commands. All those commands are resided on the disk. See, before internal commands are resided in uh, ROM, and uh, these external commands are resided on disk. So, whenever our system in uh, whenever Windows is uh, booted automatically from operating system all the commands will come so it means these external commands are resided on disk so what are the examples of external commands we will see c h k d s k attrib x copy label tree disk comp disk disk copy format f disk so these are all uh, some examples of external commands see we will see one by one see now i am in soy directory if i press dir command see it has five files fifth dot txt fourth dot txt second dot txt first dot txt these are all the five files i created okay text files see first of all we will see the attrib command okay a t t r i b see attrib is a command which displays and changes the attributes of a file so this is very very important command in external commands attrib is used which is used to display and changes the attributes of a particular file see if i press attrib it gives c c soy fifth dot txt fourth dot txt second dot txt third dot txt here you see a a a a a means rq means it is one property already is there that is rq okay see in using attrib command we can we can set attributes and we can clear the attributes how to set a attribute and how to clear or release the attribute see to set an attribute we use plus command okay and we to release an attribute we use minus command see minus see you remember that one so plus is used to set an attribute minus is used to release from an attribute okay and what are the attributes see a r s and next h these are four attributes generally we use uh, for a particular file a means rq r means read only file s means system file h means hidden file suppose if i want to give any attribute to any particular file in a directory i use attrib command c means if i want to give a particular file to read only mean read only attribute okay i can give by using attrib command with the help of a plus a i can set it if i want to release from that read only attribute i can use it attrib minus a it means plus a is to set an attribute minus sorry plus or is to set an read only attribute minus or is used to release an attribute so first of all i will give an attribute of read only purpose for the particular file c attrib plus or to what which file i am giving first dot txt file 
so here attrib plus r first dot txt i am giving an attribute read only purpose that that is plus i am setting an attribute read only to the particular file first dot txt file so after that you have to enter see we will see that attribute is uh, applicable applied or not see dir command see I need mean not dir attribute see first dot txt or symbol came means whenever whenever you come across this or symbol on this particular particular file means it has given ad attribute to the first dot txt file read only purpose it means that if i want to overwrite any data in the first dot txt file it gives an error access denied why it is coming access denied because i have given a an attribute to first dot txt as read only attribute it means that i could not change that particular first dot txt i mean the content of the first dot txt file i could not change it because i have given read only attribute if i release that read only attribute i can i mean i can edit that particular file see now i i have given the read only attribute means i could not change the content of the first dot txt file so if i try to change that first dot txt file it will give error access denied we will see that what exactly that will see copy com first dot txt file see i am editing actually the content of first dot txt file is this is this is my first file okay now i am writing what is that one this is srinivas see press enter it is asking see overwrite first dot txt it means that whatever i enter this is this is srinivas it will overwrite into my intention is to overwrite that first dot txt file the content of first dot txt file it will overwrite this is srinivas if i try to press s yes, see i am pressing why so it means see it is giving access denied why it is giving access denied mean i have given read only attribute means i could not write anything provided that unless until to change that attribute only it means that i have given read only attribute means i could not for the time being i could not overwrite any data in that post.txt file it means it is giving an error that is access i mean not error that is access denied it means right time right now i could not change the data see type first dot txt see this is my first file it means it is not overwritten why because this file first dot txt file has a read only attribute now i will release from read only attribute so that uh, i can edit a file i can edit a file see so to release from that attribute attrib minus first dot txt see if i press enter see now attrib see this read only attribute has been removed now i can edit that particular file first dot txt by using the command copy com see this is srinivas enter see it is giving override first dot txt yes no all so i am pressing yes now i can write 